or couldn't help to look at your final words. Honey, that wasn't your fault. I know, I just... I can't help but to blame myself. I felt like there could have been something I could have done to prevent that from happening. If only... I paid more attention than it's your final words. Yeah? Look at me. That was not your fault. You hear me? None of that was your fault. You may say that it was your fault, but truly, it was not your fault. Plus, Max is here now. And you're going to make sure that Max has a good, good life. You too, or you are also a part of his life too. I know. What do you think she's going to grow up to be like? Me or you? Hmm. I don't know, we already experienced that Max is basically growing up to be a lot more like me. So, maybe she might grow up to be a lot like you. <laughs> I won't be surprised she grows up to be like the both of us. So she's like you sometimes, and she ends up being like me. And then a little bit of both. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. So are we gonna bring her with us to our honeymoon after our wedding? Eh, I wanna see if what her favorite food is and all that stuff, because I don't want to bring her with our to our honeymoon. Unless we're going to where my parents are, then yeah, sure. I was thinking we can go to where my parents had their honeymoon. Really? Where was that? Omega Island, the home to all Omega Monsters. Hmm. I want to see if... what her favorite food is, so that way... And what time her bedtime and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Alright. Plus, we have two weeks before our wedding, so we got time. Yeah, you're right. We do got time. Old dear opened her eyes and looked at her parents. She smiled as she started wiggling really happy happily. So flowers and orc come to laugh a little bit. Oh, good morning, sweetie. Did you sleep well, my little princess? I bet she did. Look at her. She's just so happy to see us. Yeah, she is. Should we let her play? Oh, crap. I barely got any baby toys for her. Or a bunch of face plant. Seriously? You forgot to get baby toys for our little girl? Okay, hang on. For starters, don't blame me, okay? It's not my fault I was distracted by fighting off a bunch of bad guys while you were giving birth to her. Good point. Alright, I'll be right back. About like an hour or two later, Sufaris came back with some baby toys. 
Here, you got a little tear. And I made sure not to grab any of the small ones so that way she doesn't eat them. Make sure I grab some big, not hard, but soft toys that she could play with. So if I was going to sit down on the floor and put old tear down, she instantly grabbed one of the toys and started playing with them. Huh, look at her. Look at her go. <laughs> yeah. Sir Farmer's noticed something in particular that caught his attention about his daughter. Was that she did not like the color of her pink. Hmm. I guess pink's not her co favorite color. Eh. Wait, didn't you s didn't your mom said that you did not like the color pink? Yeah, I did not like the color at all. When I was a little kid. Maybe she got... She's definitely got that from you, alright. <laughs> yeah. All tears about the scenes before Sir Far Wars can can grab his daughter. She's when she sneezed, she let out a little atomic breath. She caught half her toys on fire. Here. I just bought those! Or come to bust out laughing. I know, she didn't mean to do that. Yeah, but can you really blame her? Yeah, I'm not gonna blame her, but she is definitely my daughter. <laughs> I'll uh, clean this mess up and go to the store and buy some new ones. Just make sure she doesn't sneeze again. Well, how can I prevent a half man got selling a half human to not sneeze? Simple. Just give something for her to chew on. Really? Yeah, that's how my parents raised me. Or grab another toy and lap. I would alter to chew on it a little bit. And it actually worked. It was preventing her from not sneezing again. Huh. Man, kind of raised her kids very strange. So far as came back about... Ten minutes later. After getting the toys. That old tear burned with her tonic breath after sneezing. Okay. This time, don't sneeze. Daddy does not have a lot of money. Doesn't well, he has a lot of money, but he doesn't have to keep on going to the store and replacing certain toys that you've burned with your little atomic breath. Well, at least she passed the test. A little early, but she passed the test. Yeah, she did. Very early indeed. But for the next two weeks, it's raising old here was not that easy to Sir Farmers and Orb, but at least they know what she like to eat and when is her bedtime when she can roam around and play for a little bit. They said to let Orb's parents to be the ones to watch over old here. Max was just way too busy buying time I was Cinder. So But today was the day when Sir Flowers and Orr's wedding was going to begin. Sir Flowers and Orr were very excited. They were very proud to become, they were very proud being parents. And so now, the next part of their journey was going to begin. Their wedding. Sir Farmers had picked a Zilla to also be his best man. King of Tethery was a little mad, but not too mad. Well, buddy, today's the day. Today is the day where you're going to get married to the girl of your dreams. Are you excited? 
Heck yeah. But at the same time, I'm a little nervous. Come on, don't get too nervous. People are gonna be shocked that you have a little bit of cold feet. I, I can't help it. I just... Uh. I guess I can't really blame you. Still, how did... How are you going to handle this now? The fact that you're going to be a... The fact that you're a husband and you're a father? What are you trying to say, Ziltuz? Nothing. I'm just happy for you. I'm just I'm curious on how you're gonna handle it. Might handle it well, but we'll see how it goes. But if I swear, if Ultier gets one boyfriend, I swear to God, when when Ultier's older, I swear she gets one boyfriend instantly overprotective. So, I guess you're gonna leave Or's parents to be in charge then, huh? Yes, I am. I am going to leave. Or's parents to watch over a little ult here. I would leave Max in charge, but... You know, it's like spending time with Cinder, which I can't really blame him. After all, oh, Cinder is going to become eventually my future daughter-in-law, so... Yeah. Good point. Meanwhile with Or, she was getting ready. With the help of her mom, of course. I can't believe it. My little, little girl's gonna get married. Mom. Mom, stop. You're making me, me blush. So how do you feel? The fact that you're gonna get married to the guy of your dreams? I am extremely excited. The fact that I'm married... The fact I'm having, well, that that I have kids with him, it's just amazing. Wait, I thought Max was not related to you. He's not, but I do look at him as if he was my own son. And he's actually calling me mom. To believe it or not, he is? Mm-hmm. Wow. So, what are you going to do on your honeymoon? Well, so far it's going to take me to Omega Island so I can get used to my subjects. Which are, of course, the Omega Kaiju species. 